Dumb Husky and His White Cat Shi Zun. Chapter 285. Shi Shang Peak. Phoenix Searing the Heavens. As the silver bracelet broke, there was a distant phoenix cry and the flames behind Madame Wang transformed into sparkling feathers. In that instant, red light overlapped each other and flames soared to the sky. The vicious and violent flow of spiritual energy was like rushing lava, surging and devouring everything in its path. She stood in the fire and raised her delicate hand. In that hand, a large amount of fire immediately gathered and poured into her palm, making a hissing sound. What's going on? Isn't her spiritual energy weak? Wasn't Xue Zhenyang married to a woman who couldn't even learn spells? W.H. What the hell is going on with her? Xue Meng was almost frightened. Mother. Zhang Shi also stepped forward and shouted, shooking. Stop. How could you be able to accomplish such a feat with what you have done today? It had been a long time since anyone had called out Madame Wang's name. An indescribable emotion flashed through her eyes that were red from the blazing fire, but it was quickly dispelled. She looked at Zhang Shi, sect leader Zhang, if I didn't do this, would you all retreat? Would they all leave Shi Shang Peak and let go of Xue Meng? Zhang Shi gritted his teeth and said, stop this. We can talk about everything else later. Madame Wang shook her head. You lot have already dug out my heart once. I have already died in front of the loyalty hall. There will be no third time. Chuking. Sect leader Zhang, let's call it a day. Madame Wang's clothes fluttered in the wind as her pupils gradually turned blood red. Some sharp-eyed people noticed that her waist started to emit an intense red-orange light and as it penetrated through her clothes, they couldn't help but exclaim, What's that? Zhang Shi cursed in his mind. He turned around and shouted at everyone, go down the mountain. But things are not over yet, Xue Meng still. If you want to die, then stay. Zhang Shi said angrily, this is Gai Yu Ye's phoenix heavenly flame. Do you all want to die? The moment they heard the words phoenix fire, almost everyone's faces turned ashen in Gai Yu Ye, a high-ranking female disciple, had her phoenix tattoo on her waist. To be able to ignite a phoenix fire in times of danger was a well-known fact. However, even though they knew about it, no one had ever seen it with their own eyes. It was because the price they had to pay was too great. The least they had to lose was their cultivation, at most, they have to pay with their lives. The group of cultivators rushed out of the loyalty hall in a panic, like stray dogs. They scrambled towards the foot of the mountain to ride their swords. Only a few people were left in the large hall that was filled with cultivators just now. Zhang Shi had not left yet, his silk ribbon fluttering in the wind as he looked back at Madame Wang. Your spiritual core can't withstand this at all. He squinted his brown eyes in confusion. He was both angry and sad. Your kind of spiritual core using the Phoenix Heavenly Flame? You can protect your son today, but what will happen after that? If I don't use these flames now, I won't be able to even protect my son today. The flames on Madame Wang's body intensified. Once this powerful fire was ignited, it would erupt and never be extinguished. She walked up the jade stairs, standing at the place where Xue Zhenyang had stood countless times with a smile on her face, her red eyes sweeping across all the disciples and elders of the Shi Shen Peak. Fellow Disciples she bowed slightly and said, when he was alive, him and I both believed in the truth of what we said before we parted. Today, the various sects have forced the Tianyin Pavilion to act weirdly. In the eyes of these people, right and wrong are seen in black and white. All the disciples looked at this woman who used to be so gentle. Sparks flew off her clothes, covering her clothes in brilliant, mottled shadows. Shi Shang Peak has been established for many years. They did not injure the innocent or commit injustice. Even if they were slandered and framed, they still lived up to that expectations. However, now I am too weak to affirm the truth and return justice. I will ask for three things from you all today. 
I hope that all of you will be generous and help us out on account of our former friendship. All of the disciples lowered their eyes and said with tears in their eyes, as Madam commands. As for Shwemeng, he choked with sobs as he murmured, Mother. After the phoenix heavenly flames explodes, it will last for at least three days. The first thing is that I hope that all the disciples can preserve their lives, temporarily leave the Shisheng peak and earn their own living. This. Elder Tanlang shook his head and said, I'd rather die with pride, not run away like a dog. When Madame Wang heard this, she smiled and said, this isn't about a dog running away. In the past, I heard that the Rufeng sex Nangong Zhongying had a saying that makes sense. She had seen all of the disciples and elders in the hall before, just like the previous times when they had appeared before everyone. Nangong Zhongying once said that regardless of whether the Rufeng sect is established or not, as long as there is still someone in the world who still follow the teaching of the Rufeng sect, the sect lives. Madam Wang paused for a moment before saying, I picked up his wisdom. What I want to say today is the same as well. Madam. When all the disciples and elders leave and the truth is revealed, everything will be decided. If you still have the heart, then you can come back to this place. No one in the hall said anything for a while, only the young disciples were crying sorrowfully, and their clothes were heavy with tears. Madam Wang said, the second thing I ask of you is to not to make things difficult for Mo Ran or Elder Yu Heng. I believe that the two of them have their reasons for doing this, and that the words Raner said were not false. With the elders as the leaders now, all the disciples lowered their heads and said in a low voice, the disciples at Shi Sheng Peak will never be enemies with young master Mo and Elder Yu Heng. Then, the third thing. Madam Wang sighed. I'm afraid that things are going to go just like what Mo Ran said. A gate of time and space, life and death will open in the future. When that time comes. She paused, as if she didn't know whether her insistence was right or wrong. However, she still slowly continued, I wish for the sex and disciples to support each other when the time comes. Elder Tan Lang, with his strong temper, could not help but be furious, those beasts that tried to kill us all, what is there to peacefully interact with? Madam wasn't here just now. She didn't even know how disgusting those people's faces were. There are so many people in the lower realm of cultivation. There are dogs and evil people. Good will not always be rewarded. But when we founded this sect, it was not to receive praise and gratitude, but to live up to its sincerity. Her pupils became more and more scarlet and the phoenix tattoo on her waist also became brighter and brighter. Madame Wang stood amidst the blazing flames. Everyone, how vast is this world of mortals? The word fair is really too vague. But even so, to be able to do me justice and help me with my heart's wish is still a small matter that is feasible with a body of my size. She closed his eyes and sighed. Therefore, if the Shi Sheng Peak were to collapse due to the dozens of traitors who had suffered injustice, they would ignore the lives of the people and become the second Rufeng section. That is what Zhang Yang laments the most. We can't change evil and we don't have eyes that can see through people's hearts. But the least we can do it is to not let malice and hatred change us. Finally, Madame Wang smiled and said, May the hearts of everyone remain unshaken for the rest of their lives, forever unchanging. As soon as she finished, the Phoenix Heavenly Flames burst. The seal of the Phoenix Heavenly Flame was finally completely undone. A powerful energy continuously flowed out of Madame Wang's seemingly thin body, and in an instant, a wave of flame surged out like a flood from a mountain. The Skyfrost Hall, Discipline Court, Loyalty Hall, Niahi Bridge, Menpo Hall, Mountains, and the Red Lotus Pavilion. In that instant, it was all completely enveloped by spiritual fire. These flames could recognize the will of their master and they would not burn a single blade of grass or tree that was in Shi Sheng Peak. It was the same with the elders and disciples that were still standing in the hall. Madam Wang said, Go. No one moved. She sighed and urged everyone, Go, why are you still standing there foolishly? Hurry up and leave. 
After repeating the words several times, some people lowered their heads and left. The hall gradually became spacious and empty. In the end, only Xuemeng and Zhang Xi remained. Zhang Xi gave her one last glance before turning to leave. However, Madame Wang called out to him. Wait a moment. Do you still have anything else to say? Within the firelight, Madame Wang's expression was not very clear. Sometimes bright or blurry. She hesitated for a long time as if she was suffering from some inner torment. Finally, she closed her eyes, steeled her heart and whispered, She d, come closer. I have something I want to tell you. The moment she said this, both Xuemeng and Zhang Xi were stunned. Xuemeng really couldn't understand what Madame Wang had to tell Zhang Xi alone right now. Zhang Xi obviously thought the same. He narrowed his eyes slightly, not moving an inch. Although he and Madame Wang were fellow disciples of the same sect, they had parted ways and hadn't met privately for many years. In addition to Xue Zhenjiang's recent demise, he was also one of the people who denounced the Shi Sheng Peak, he had all reason to be on his guard. Zhang Shi said, if there's anything you want to say, please say it here. There is nothing between you and me that cannot be told in front of others. When Madame Wang saw that she couldn't persuade Zhang Shi, she turned her head and said to Xue Meng, Meng Er, you go down the mountain first. Mother needs to have a few words with sect leader Zhang by herself. Mother. Quickly go. This has nothing to do with you. Xue Meng's face was dirty too as he was covered in blood. His tears flowed down, leaving behind streaks after streaks of marks as he embarrassedly wiped his face and choked with sobs, I don't want to leave. You're all here. I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to be with you. If you don't want to leave, then just wait outside of the loyalty hall. Madame Wang sighed. When mother finishes with sect leader Zhang, I will come to you. At that moment, Madame Wang's face was extremely pale. There were also traces of blood leaking from the corners of her mouth. She frowned slightly and coughed lightly. She said softly, Meng Er, be good. Xue Meng could not help but shake his head and wipe his tears away with his hands. He knew that his mother had ignited the phoenix heavenly flame at this moment and that her life wasn't too long away. He shouldn't go against her wishes and waste the rest of her remaining time. In the end, he left leaving only the two former fellow Gai Yuye's disciples in the vast loyalty hall. After Xue Meng left, the last breath Madame Wang had left to support herself disappeared. She slumped into the sect leader's seat, no longer able to maintain her composure. She stared at the counter in front of her for a long, long time. Tears rolled down her soft, jade-like cheeks, she then began to cough violently and vomit blood. Zhang Shi stood at the same spot. He saw that Madame Wang was coughing blood and wanted to step forward, but in the end, he didn't move. After a while, he said, there's no one else here. What do you want to say? Madame Wang was coughing so badly that she couldn't answer for a moment. Seeing this, Zhang Shi frowned and said with a gloomy face, because of the incident back then, your spiritual core became more and more unstable. Afterwards, it was even difficult for you to continue practicing techniques, not to mention igniting the phoenix heavenly flame. This will take your life. Madame Wang caught her breath, her eyelashes wet. She looked at the tables on the platform, her eyes somewhat vacant. Yes, I know. The sea of fire had flooded them, but it could not burn them. It was as if there was a scarlet sea separating her from Zhang Shi. Then what else do you have to say? If you have nothing left to say, I'll be leaving. Zhang Shi waited for a moment, but seeing that she was still silent, he lost his patience. He turned to leave, but heard a soft sound. She d. Raging flames danced in the air like red dust. Do you really look down on Meng Er? Zhang Shi realized he was actually worried about nothing after she blurted out those words. What? The first time you met him, you almost had a fight with him. If I didn't come later, I'm afraid you would have started dueling. 
Madame Wang sighed softly. She did, his temper really isn't that good, but please consider the fact that he and you were similar when you were young. Don't mind this part of him. Zhang Shi didn't know what to say. He turned his face to the side and asked, What do you mean? Madame Wang did not immediately reply. This patch of silence was like a rolling thundercloud that covered the two of them. It was as if a torrential rain would fall at any moment, causing the sky and earth to change color. In this silence, Zhang Shi suddenly recalled a story from his youth. His heart was pounding, but the expression on his face was getting colder and colder. He didn't say a word, but clenched his fingers into a fist and waited for Madame Wang to speak. Shui Meng. Madame Wang sighed softly, but her sigh was like a bolt of purple lightning splitting the sky, startling the world. Shui Meng, he is actually very similar to you. Shi Di, do you understand? Even though he had already predicted that something like this would happen, when he heard her words, Zhang Shi's mind was still in a whirl, and his thoughts instantly went blank. Who is like him? Shui Meng? That youngster who was so irritable and rude every time he saw him, causing him to despise him to the depths of his heart? Ridiculous. The hall was deathly silent. Zhang Shi was standing still, as the truth that was sealed in the air cracked open layer after layer like chapped ice. Zhang Shi's face did not move, but the blood had already turned cold. He felt almost scared, but he also felt that it was all ridiculous. He suddenly turned around and stared intently at Madame Wang's face. He thought he had misheard, but he knew that it was impossible. Although the words were spoken softly, each word was clearly spoken. They were as clear as water and they rushed towards him through the raging flames. In front of his eyes, it became a sea of shock. Zhang Yuchen Madame Wang slowly lifted her wet eyelashes and looked at him with her black eyes. Shui Meng he is your child. End chapter. Dumb Husky and his white cat Shi Zun. Chapter 286. Shi Shang Peak. One slights her, one loves her deeply. In the silence, Zhang Shi almost sneered, but his eyes flashed with fear. Wang Chuking, are you crazy? Do you know what you're talking about? The hand under his sleeves had already been clenched into a fist. It felt as if a mountain had cracked inside his skull. His entire body felt dizzy and light. What can he have to do with me? Although Zhang Shi's attitude was tough, what Madame Wang had said had already frightened him, from fear to doubt, from suspicion to anger he had been thinking that he was alone for so many years. He no longer had any family members in the mortal world. A son? Telling him that Shui Meng was his son? It was simply, ridiculous. Madame Wang held back the blood in her throat and took a deep breath. She seemed to be ashamed but she still insisted, Shi Di is well aware of what happened back then. What relationship does Meng Er have with you? I will never lie to you. After a moment of silence, Zhang Shi suddenly began to laugh. It was a rare occasion for him to burst into such unbridled laughter. The ridicule and rage filled his eyes as he laughed and laughed. Every sound was filled with chilliness. My son? Shija, if you want to be alone, you can tell me about love but why make up such a ridiculous story? Your son has a personality and a temper. When has he ever been anything like me? It was probably because of the intense uneasiness in his heart. He tried his best not to admit it and made threatening gestures. You actually want to use such a despicable method to earn my favor to clean up the stall you and Shui Zhenyang left behind? How could Shui Meng, Shui Ziming, be my son? In the depths of his consciousness, there seemed to be a voice coldly telling him, Yes, he is your child. Think about his age, think about how Wang Shijia left Gai Yuya at that time. What was there to think about? He bit back like a cornered beast tearing his wits from the bottom of his heart to smithereens. What makes you think so? He had been single for more than twenty years and she had suddenly told him that he had a son. 
that son was always opposing him and was born with an appearance that made him extremely disgusted. He had even adopted someone else as his father for such a long time. Ridiculous. Zhang Shi wasn't some good-hearted person who recklessly became a brainless fool. He would never be fooled, would never listen to such a joke, would never. Sui Huang. All sound stopped. It was as if all the light had been extinguished at this moment. Zhang Shi looked around in a daze, as if he had been left in darkness for a long night. This was the first time he was so at a loss. Madam Wang looked at him and said, Sui Huang. What do you mean? His lips were moving, growing paler. Madam Wang softly said, Shi Di, it's not like you don't understand. It was impossible for him to not understand. Although others could use his holy weapon, they could not truly display the mighty power of Sui Huang. Only his blood relatives could make Sui Huang sincerely submit to them. Zhang Shi couldn't say a word for a moment. She didn't even need to try. If Madame Wang could speak to such an extent, what else could he do? He was actually forced into a corner. He was speechless. This matter. After a long while, Zhang Shi finally spoke with a hoarse voice and a pale face. After the initial frenzy, he was almost exhausted, this matter, Shui Zhenyang, he, he knew about it too. Madam Wang said, he always knew. When she said this, her eyes were soft and painful. When Shui Zhenyang saw her for the first time, he was 17 years old. That day, he happened to pass by Yang Zhou on a little donkey with a piece of dogtail grass and coincidentally saw Wang Chuking, who came to the port to buy fabric. From Gai Yuye was a group of beautiful female disciples but he didn't look at any of them and only took a fancy to Miss Wang who was in the crowd. Shui Zhenyang was a straightforward person, so he went to greet her with a smile. The other female cultivators mocked him for being frivolous while Wang Chuking was a bit embarrassed. She blushed and gave him a few words of advice before leaving in a hurry with her head lowered. That girl was gentle and pretty. Shui Zhenyang fell in love with her at first sight, so he would often go to Gai Yuye to look for her. Every two to three months, during the middle of autumn, he would come looking for her. This make other Gai Yuye disciples gossip that she was involved with a little thug. No matter how good Wang Chuking's temper was, she couldn't bear it anymore and angrily chased him away. Shui Zhenyang was also a little rascal and wouldn't leave. Madam Wang then said, Please leave, it will be difficult for me if you do this. Shui Zhenyang said, If you don't have a lover just like I don't, I'll continue to come and see you. If you ever get married, I'll immediately disappear. Madame Wang was speechless. Shui Zhenyang laughed. Seriously, he would definitely disappear faster than lightning. He paused before asking her with some concern, You, you don't already have someone you like, do you? Madam Wang's face instantly turned red. She lowered her head, like delicate flowers shining in the water. She softly said, no. However, it was not the truth. She naturally had someone she liked. That person was not only her lover, but also the dream lover of many of Gai Yuye's female cultivators she really liked her Shi Di, Zhang Shi. However, Every disciple of Gai Yuye knew that Zhang Shi was a scum. Among the younger generation, he had the most handsome appearance, the swiftest and fiercest movements and the most pleasant voice. And the most unmoving heart. This man was eccentric, harsh in his speech but strong in his abilities, ruthless in his skills and extremely good looking a man who could easily earn a girl's heart but Zhang Shi treated it as a pig's heart. He would never value anyone. Women gave him their true love but he thought they were sloppy. Men gave him their praises but he called them perverts. Zhang Shi was living his life like this, always hurting others without knowing it. Like many other martial sisters, Wang Chuking had always secretly liked Zhang Shi. But she knew that she was not peerless and was older than Zhang Shi, so she didn't dare to confess. After all, Zhang Shi had never accepted any woman's good intentions. If someone praised him, he wouldn't hear it and appreciate it. 
If anyone dared to make love with him, he would scold them until they didn't even know their own mother. All in all, those who could expose their worries to Zhang Shi were all lucky. Madame Wang didn't think of herself as that lucky, so she had thought that her love would eventually die with time and be sealed away in a coffin. However, one day, the sect leader looked for her. The sect leader said, Gai Yuye is the sect that specializes in raising the soul through the years of life. The majority of disciples are able to live past the age of a hundred. Furthermore, all of the previous sect leaders were bitterly cultivating the method of longevity, hoping to find a way to live forever. Indeed, for the sake of gaining immortality, the sect leader of Gaiuya had made several attempts and techniques, which naturally included the dual cultivation technique left behind by the Nine Heavens Profound Maiden. She and Zhang Shi had the purest water element and the purest fire element in the sect. Furthermore, both of them were inexperienced so it was most suitable for them to dual cultivate together. At that time, the sect leader came to find them for the sake of letting them cultivate together. Wang Chuking had adored Zhang Shi for a long time so she was very happy. Zhang Shi, however, was unhappy. He was extremely disgusted with love affairs and thought they were both troublesome and useless. He really didn't know how there could be so many men and women in this world who love to participate in these relationships. Love is an illness. If there's a medicine for it, cure it early. These words came from the mouth of Gai Yuye's number one beauty, Zhang Shi. Who knew how many women would have been hurt by these words? In Zhang Shi's eyes, even this technique shouldn't involve any feelings at all. Sexual intercourse was dual cultivation. Since the sect leader had requested for him to do so, he didn't dawdle and went into seclusion with his shijia to cultivate according to the sect's secret scripture. However, the love in the young girl's eyes could not be concealed. After a while, Zhang Shi gradually understood how his shijia felt for him. It made him very agitated and uneasy. He cultivated with her only because of the sect leader's orders, without a trace of selfishness. Not to mention that the dual cultivation technique itself required unmoving mortal thoughts. When a man and a woman were combined, it was also for the sake of spiritual integration so there was absolutely no room for love and desire. Because of this, Zhang Shi and his senior sister solemnly brought this matter up many times, telling her to calm down and to not think about anything useless. If you continue cultivating like this, I'm afraid your cultivation will go out of control and your spiritual core will become unstable. But how could Miss Wan control her feelings? At the end there was one time where their cultivation had ended but her state of mind had become so unstable that her spiritual flow became chaotic. Her spiritual sense was also unclear. Zhang Shi had spent a great deal of effort to suppress his spiritual core. This enraged him and he asked her why she didn't listen to him repeatedly and continued to think nonsense. If this goes on, don't cultivate with me anymore, it will kill you. At that time, she was extremely sad. It was unknown where she got the courage from but she actually cried and went all out to ask him, Yuchen, are you cultivating with me only because of the sect leader's orders? Zhang Shi had an extremely unsightly expression on his face as he retorted, why would I do this if not for that? Although she already knew that Zhang Shi was like a cold spring, his heart as hard as iron. However, when she heard him say this, she could not hold it in and tears began to roll down her cheeks. Feeling embarrassed, she raised her hand to wipe away the tears, but it only made her more and more embarrassed. She hurriedly got up and choked with sobs. I'm sorry. Then she turned around and left, never looking back. After that, Zhang Shi didn't come looking for her. When he saw her on the way several days later, he didn't speak to her. A few of Gai Yuye's younger generation of beautiful ladies noticed the change, and gathered behind her back and laughed at her, I was looking forward to this. She thought she could climb up to Zhang Shikshan just like that. How is that possible? A dual cultivation is a double cultivation, but she has too many emotions. If you cultivate to the point of going out of control and even implicate our Yuchen Shikshan, it will truly be harmful. Forget it, 
what dual cultivation. Shikshan did all these things with her for his sake. He and Shija did all of this for selfish reasons. Everyone is clear about what he was thinking. Heh, I think he was just trying to take advantage of Shija. Wang Shija is older than us and her skin is thicker than ours as well. These words spread and reached Shui Zhenyang, who had come looking for Madame Wang as usual for the mid-autumn festival. Young Master Shui was straightforward but not stupid. He quickly understood the whole situation. He immediately tidied up those chatty little girls in a rage and then ran off to find Madame Wang. However, when he saw her, he didn't know what to say. He could only blankly stare at her. You. Wang Chuking raised her eyes, they were red from crying. Shui Zhenyang was flustered, don't cry over some stupid gossip, you, you. I think you're fine, I. Wang Chuking stood next to the willow tree, looking at the sparkling lake. I didn't tell you the truth before but I have someone I like. Right. Then why aren't you leaving? Shui Zhenyang then scratched his head, but that person doesn't like you either. He doesn't like you so I can still talk to you and he wasn't with you. Seeing her silence, Shui Zhenyang hesitated. Or does he? Madame Wang lowered his head and softly said, he doesn't care. What was she to Zhang Shi? From beginning to end, it had been the sex order and it was her own wishful thinking. Everyone in the sex said that Zhang Shi was scum, but Wang Chuking felt that if a man was sentenced to be scum just because he didn't want to be loved by others, then it would be too mean. Zhang Shi had never lied to anyone about feelings, never given anyone hope. It was them who chased after him like moths to a flame, knowing that he was cold and heartless. At this point, she also felt very embarrassed and wanted to let it all go. However, it was most likely because the disciple in charge of the medicine was in a daze and had made a mistake while concocting the medicine one day. Perhaps it was due to some other reason Madame Wang had discovered that she was already pregnant. She felt flustered and helpless. She didn't know how the Marshall sisters would comment or mock her after this matter spread, nor did she know what kind of attitude Zhang Shi would have. She couldn't do anything about it, so she anxiously sat there and decided to find the sect leader. However, before she could knock on the door of the sect leader's room, he heard a cold voice coming from inside. It was Zhang Shi. Shiji's heart is unsettled, her spiritual core is becoming more and more unstable and now even the smallest of spells are unable to control her spiritual energy. If this goes on, it might harm her body. I humbly request sect leader to take back this dual cultivation token, I can no longer cultivate with her. Sigh, she air, why don't you tell her again? Maybe we can. No need for that. I've told her many times, but she's not suited for this. Zhang Shi said, Shuking is too easily swayed by her feelings, it's useless. The sect leader asked. Then what are you going to do next? Zhang Shi replied, if there's no one capable of maintaining a clear mind for this, then I won't do will cultivate anymore. The sect leader sighed. I know, go ahead. A pure and quiet state of mind is the most painful trial of the dual cultivation path. I wonder if Gai Yuye will be able to find a person like you, who will be so focused on things without distractions in the next few decades. However, Zhang Shi didn't leave immediately. He stood in the same spot for a while before asking, is it difficult? It's extremely difficult. The sect leader glanced at him, you and Wang Chuking have been together for so long, yet you haven't wavered at all. Zhang Shi asked in confusion. Why would I waver? The sect leader stared at Zhang Shi for a while. He didn't see any hypocrisy in the young man's eyes, which made him even more surprised. He hesitated for a moment before asking, Zhang Shi, what is Wang Chuking in your eyes? Eldest Chijia. What about when you dual cultivate together? The subject of dual cultivation. Nothing else. Nothing else. Noticing the sect leader's complicated expression, Zhang Shi frowned, is there something else? No. After a long while, 
the old sect leader side, after so many years, disciple and disciple peer cultivation has always been unable to get by for long. You're the first. Unfortunately, I wonder who will be able to accomplish this feat with you. That day, whether it was Zhang Shi or the sect leader, neither of them knew that Miss Wang had already heard all of their conversation. Previously, Madame Wang still had a sliver of a dream and hope. However, this exchange of words caused her entire body to turn cold. Too embarrassed. She really didn't know how to stand up in the sect anymore. She didn't know what to say. In the past, her spine was already about to be broken by her junior sisters. If people knew that she had carelessly given birth to a child with her Zhang Shidi. Just thinking about it sent shivers down her spine. She no longer dared to stay in the sect. She fled from Linling. Didn't you elope away with Shui Zhen Yong? Madame Wang said, no. Zhang Shi abruptly closed his eyes, unsure of what to say. He was indeed a merciful person. His heart was filled with his own great cultivation. In his entire life, apart from Madame Wang, he had never been with any woman. Back then, he also felt that he had no feelings for this eldest Chija. However, when he heard that Madame Wang and Shui Zhenyang had eloped and left the island, he still frowned. He felt that relationships in this world were as long as flowers and plants, and that women in this world were really unreliable. Even his Shija who was deeply in love with him had left with another person. From then on, his aversion to matters of love grew and his heart became even colder. Only today, after 20 years, did he finally hear the truth about the past from his eldest Chija. It was just that the Madame Wang of that time had become the Madame Wang of today. The best years of their lives had already passed. After a long time, Zhang Shi said very stiffly, Then you, why did you have to leave Gai Yu Ye? I couldn't live under the same roof with you anymore, Shi Di. Twenty years later, Madame Wang was finally able to calmly look at him. Humans have dignity. I no longer had the face to stand at your door. I wanted to kill Meng Er in my womb but I couldn't bear it. Madame Wang said indifferently, that's why I went through many places by myself. Then I gave birth to our child in White Emperor City. When Zhen Yang found me and stayed with me, Meng Er was already a year old. He always knew his identity. As she spoke, she began to cough up blood again. In the past, her cultivation went out of control and her spiritual core became unstable. All these years, she had been suppressing it and never used any spells. Now, with the rise of phoenix fire and surging flames, her life had already come to an end. Madame Wang slowly stopped coughing. Her breathing had already become disorderly, so she said, she de the rumor that Zhen Yang kidnapped me to the Shi Sheng Peak and married me was something he allowed to be spread to the outside world to cover my shame. He was also afraid that Meng Er would be embarrassed. Her gaze lingered for a long time, then fell on Xue's body. However, it only lasted for a moment before it became filled with tears. She thought of that year's wedding when Xue Zhen Yang said to her with a smile, Well, from now on, don't think about the past anymore. In the past, at Gai Yuye, that bad man always made you lose face. I won't. If you're with me, I'll let you enjoy life for the rest of your life. As long as I am here, I won't let you suffer anymore. Madame Wang turned her face away. She was trembling slightly. If a true gentleman makes a promise, he will be able to keep it up. Xue Zhenyang had done it. When he was there, she never had to show her face and she would never be troubled by others. Her tears, her humiliation, her blood, all came after he left. All these years, he did not care that I was weak and could not be pregnant again. He didn't care that Meng Er wasn't his flesh and blood. He treated him as his own flesh and blood. Shui Meng. Shui Meng has never suffered much since he was born. She closed her eyes and her face became pale. We can't protect him anymore. Zhang Shi stood there, numb. Shi Di, 
just consider these twenty years as my revenge against you, one had to hate, loathe, but count it on me alone. Madame Wang's voice became softer and softer. Please help him. Do not let others harm him. In the end, she muttered with a voice as light as a feather, Yuchen. I beg you. The phoenix heavenly flames blotted out the sky and blocked out the sun. Zhang Shi stood in the sea of flames, both heaven and earth burning with a similar scarlet color. He looked at the woman in the high seat. Her eyes were closed and downcast, as if she was asleep. He felt that she probably still had something to say. Moreover, she had clearly just promised Xue Meng that they would meet outside the loyalty hall. Thus, he patiently waited. He waited for her to stand up and told himself that it was all a lie, a joke, a farce. He waited patiently for a long time. As her face became more and more tight, her heartbeat became more and more dull and her blood became colder and colder. She did not speak again. Madame Wang and Xue Zhenyang returned to their former homes together. She was once a high-ranking female cultivator of a famous sect, gentle and virtuous. Later on, people said that she was kidnapped by Xue Zhenyang to become his wife while others said that she had eloped with him and became his wife. There were many people who didn't know the truth. In these past few years, Many people at the Shisheng Peak felt that Madame Wang probably didn't like her husband very much but because she was timid, she didn't dare to complain. However, no matter what others thought, she had already decided to die the moment she found out that Xue Zhenyang had died. She didn't know if it was a martyr thing to do or something else. Perhaps in the end, even she herself could not understand her own thoughts. Was she grateful or loving to her husband for the rest of her life? Were her feelings for Zhang Shi long forgotten? Actually, she also wasn't sure. There were many things in this world where there was no definite answer. In the end, all she could think of was a poem she had read years ago by the window. One will open his eyes all night long, to repay for not having been able to raise his eyebrows in his life. At that time, when she and Xue Zhenyang were newly married, she would absent-mindedly recall the time when she was a young girl in Gaiyue. She looked out of the window. The fog in Shu was always so thick, it was like clouds that were scattered and swaying about, as if no one was there to sweep it away. She didn't know about the heavens and earth. When someone walked over, she still thought that it was Zhang Shi as she was lost in her thoughts. However, when a piece of warm clothing was draped over her shoulders, the dream disappeared. She very well knew that Zhang Shi would never know if she was cold or warm. Madame Wang turned around. Candles were still burning by the west window. The young and handsome husband looked at her with a smile and scratched his head, it's cold outside, be careful not to catch a chill. The loyalty hall's interior was covered with a thick carpet made out of Duruin which was Madame Wang's favorite flower design. Zhang Shi walked out of the hall full of Duruin flowers. His expression was still indifferent, even a bit more wooden than usual. With a squeak, he pushed open the door. He was prepared to leave this place but when he opened the door, he saw Xue Meng, whose face was deathly pale and standing motionless. End chapter